Wait here. I'm going to show you how to use Snagit on a Mac. Using screen capture in your work is really an amazing tool that many people don't make use of, but it's enormously powerful. If you're trying to communicate something to a client or a colleague that is slightly complicated, or you wish you could just have them in front of your computer screen and showing them what you want to communicate, screen capture is the key. It's as clear as having someone sitting there right at your desk. It's also a wonderful tool for small business owners to use to create content. It's fast, it's easy, you can then send that content to a writer and have them build a page on your website based on your video. You can edit the video to something professional looking for marketing purposes. The uses are really endless and Snagit is really one of the best tools for getting started. We recommend Snagit whenever someone's trying to get started with screen capture. It's easy to manage software that anyone can use and if you want to do more complicated videos with more editing functionality, we recommend Camtasia, a, a very similar program which is a little more complex and offers some more options. But for most people, Snagit is plenty. So on your Mac, the way you do this is that you make sure that the application is on and if it's on what will happen is you'll see this little this little pop-out box that lets you activate the program and you'll see you can move this box anywhere you want you can you can put it over here you can move it down here so wherever is most convenient for you so if you want to make a video you simply click on the red circle there and what it does is it allows you to choose the size of the frame that you want so we can just choose this part right there. Then you can choose to either take just a regular screenshot with the, by pushing the camera, or if you want to take an actual video, then you can click that. Using the camera option is a really good idea if you just want to show them what you're looking at on a website or something like that. This can make a, a hard to understand email just a little bit easier to understand. And if you're really trying to explain something complicated, then you can use the video. It gives you a countdown until you start recording, and now you're recording. And you can see that it's recording with this little microphone. Every time I talk, it, it makes a little motion there. And you can do whatever you want on the screen. You can click to a different page. You can go to really any part that you want to show them. Just use your screen just like you would normally. If you need to sneeze or pause, you can just push the pause button and it will stop for a few seconds. And then when you're ready, just go back and push record and you're back to recording. When you're all done, then you want to push stop and this will pull up your finished video there. Now, if you want to cut part of your video out, it's got this cool tool here that lets you scan to the part that you want. You can turn it on here and hear what it sounds like. Click to a different page. So let's say you want to take that little section out. What you do is you just put it right where you want the, the cut to start and then you just move this to where you want to end and then you can just push cut and it'll cut that little section out of the video. This is good for doing real simple editing. If you want to do a lot of editing, then you may want to use Camtasia. That gives you a little bit more functionality. But this is good just for simple editing.